Yo, yo, everyone, welcome back. It is Bordy, and we're doing a video on Final Fantasy Brave Exvius this morning to talk about the new uh, upcoming update? Maybe? No, I guess it's things. So, upcoming things. So, before we start it, I like to always start off with something else. So, this has been my new TM group that runs at night, and I wanted to show it off. So, there's Lunas 25%, Cupid Archer for her new amazing ring with the uh, refresh on it. So, she's at almost 30%. We got Zizu Zidane for 83.4. Uh, the Carl, who I didn't even know I had in my freaking box. Should have definitely used them. Seal of Destruction. Definitely a good one to have it. Definitely. Definitely. And then Randy. Uh, the reason I'm doing Randy over some other TMs that might be better is because his weapon is a non-elemental weapon. Uh, that's a sword that I would actually benefit a lot from. And I th think this is probably a really good idea to get this sword uh, as soon as possible. So that's kind of why I have him. Anyway, so the reason behind the vid owl. All right, the reason. The reason you've all been waiting for. Here we are. New units to awaken. Baby girl. Look at that, Furion, Maria, okay? So both of these units are pretty good, we'll talk about them a little bit more. Furion is actually a very interesting unit. And the reason why Furion's interested, he's kind of like what Randy is right now. He has uh, like a, a bleh amount of, of killer effects. He already has those in his kit, and then when he becomes a 6 star, he gets more. And then when he uh, has his enhancement, he becomes a truck. One of the best, hardest hitting units still in the top charts for like easy to get units in JP so again we're not comparing Furion with like a five star base okay so don't don't come to the comments and saying no he's not that good no matter what in comparison to the fact that he's a three star which means that everybody probably has gotten at least like a million of him he's an amazing unit for that he fills a gap for a lot of people who are missing a very good damage dealer who they can get with Furion, especially when you're fighting dragons, beasts, and fairies, and all those things, okay? So his TM is called Equipped Heavy Armor, which is, it's okay, whatever. You, there's certain situations where you might want a character to wear heavy armor for a particular benefit, right? Limit Burst is called Sword of the Rebellion. It just damages one enemy. Again, uh, Marie, uh, sorry, Marie, Maria, she is, um, same thing, three star. Most of you probably have lots of her, like I have her almost completely maxed out, almost have her Asuna. Her Trust Mastery is Asuna. Asuna is an amazing support ability. So if you've got a bunch of her and you got Asuna, fantastic. It cures Poison, Blind, Sleep, Silence, Paralysis, and Confusion from one ally. It's nice to have. Most healers have it, the really good ones have it. Um, but if you had an extra one, like, why not wear it? It's, it's just, it's a direct benefit to your team if you have it. If you have space for, for it and it makes sense. Uh, her T or limit burst is called Life Rain, where she restores the hit points of everybody. It's just like an AOE. It's like a Kiraga, just a little bit more potent, I think. Uh, but we can double check that as well. So, good stuff, good news. These are very good units to have up here coming up very soon because most people have this, and you know you guys will be able to benefit them directly, which is great. So, what 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 I did here, what I did here, is I went to Final Fantasy. Brave Exvius Reddit, which is where you should be going to get all of your goodies and all your information. So shout out to Final Fantasy Brave Exvius Reddit and all those guys out here who are making this website more and more amazing every single day by keeping it up to date. Uh, you can go here and you can browse through all the units to kind of see what they are. So this is like uh, the Japanese name, the English name, where they're from, is it uh, which Final Fantasy they're from, 1, 5, 9, etc. Uh, base star and how far they go up there. But the cool thing about this thing as well is so, if we're looking at Furion here, so we're just going to jump through things and then we'll come back and kind of talk about it. If you go all the way at the bottom here, you will actually have an area that's, because this is also based off of Japanese, it's called Enhancements. So in these Enhancements, they tell you what you can kind of unlock in there. And most of them have been translated as best as possible by those, I guess, the, the individuals who are also on Reddit that speak English and Asian. Uh, Asian, wow, Asian's not a language, bro. Uh, Mandarin or Cantonese or you know, whatever it is. So as long as they can read the kanji, they probably were able to kind of convert it to, to the best of their ability, which is good. Most of the stuff is very accurate because when we do get the translations, they're spot on. So these guys are amazing. Okay, so 
it's always good when you pick up a unit when you're thinking about it you're like wow i just got a shadow how good is he and then you're like you log in and you come on here and you're like oh wow he's he's amazing and uh, you can kind of compare that by looking at all the stats like has he become a higher star rating in the japanese version do they have enhancements this is a way for you to kind of identify the character you got is it good if it's not like directly a banner character? So that's essentially what I'm trying to say about this in a long, convoluted, messed up way. Okay, so I'll go through it kind of how I look at the units overall and how I judge them. And maybe that's the way you want to do it going forward. And, you know, it helps you out. Then that's cool. If uh, that's not what you want to do, then fine. Fine. Don't do it. So no biggie. Okay, so uh, you'll say we got a job here. Can't really see what it says. Not our big deal. So he goes from 3 star to 6 star. So we're getting our 6 star rating Thursday. Great. To get him into 6 star, these are the materials you need. 20, 10, 10, 5, 5. As a 6 star unit, he's got a decent hit point, 3,500. MP is meh. Attack is meh. Defense is meh. Intelligence is meh. Mind is meh. It's okay. You know, like going 3 to 6 star, it's okay. It's not a big deal. So he's got no um, resistances to anything by default. One of his best traits, right here. He can wear everything under the sun. You know that wig that your grandma has? Yeah, that, that really just looks like a dead animal? Yeah, he can wear that. Uh, pretty much anything, that wooden leg, anything. He can wear everything. He's, he's got a very good selection of items that he can utilize, right? So you can, it's very easy to gear, okay? So for Magic Affinity, he gets, um, he can use white magic, black magic, green magic, and he can't use blue magic which is fine. So material slots, he has only one, but by the time he's six star, he's gonna have four slots, which is up to par with all the other six star units out there. Uh, his limit burst, so we'll just look at the last one here. So I'm gonna just look at the max version as well. So 430% single target, five hit physical attack, 16 cost, uh, limit burst cost. So he, it's not that bad. He'll be getting it pretty good, like fairly often. It's a pretty big hit, especially if you get it maxed out, but if you don't get it, it's 310% five hit. That's not that bad for, uh, for a limit burst, right? So it's pretty good. So magic spells that he gets normally by default in the game, he gets regen, which just kind of heals you over time, over three turns, right? Not too expensive either. So we start off right off the bat. So we're gonna go look, he's got plant killer. He's got forest killer. So plant killer, physical damage versus, and then whatever that is, which is plant, obviously. Forest killer, physical damage versus, and then physical damage versus something else. If it, so he does 75% physical damage to three of these forest killer thingies. So again, I'm not gonna make too many assumptions here, but I'm just gonna say he's doing 75% damage against something else. So another killer effect. He learns mystery waltz, which is a 35% attack with 30% MP drain. So he deals attack uh, 35 and he gets 30% MP back. Uh, great supporter. He gets a buff for 30% magic and spirit when equipped it with a staff and 30% magic spirit when equipped it with a rod and magic spirit 30% when equipped it with a harp and plus 30% magic spirit when equipped it with a mace so any of these things and i'm assuming because it's J japanese version these all stack so if you equipped him like dual wielding with a staff and a rod or you know mace and a rod he would be getting 60% right we continue bug killer 50% dragon killer 50% learns blade bash 80% single target and a chance to paralyze. Awesome. Multi shooter. Another buff. 25% attack. 30% spirit when equipped with a bow. 30% spirit when equipped with uh, attack or spirit. Uh, not attack or attack and spirit. 30% when equipped with a whip. 25% attack and 30% spirit when equipped with a projectile, which is like a throwing weapon. 25% attack and 30% spirit when equipped with a gun. So he gets 25% attack plus 30% spirit when using any of those items. Okay? This guy gets some crazy buffs just by wearing gear. So you just gear him up and you just pile on all of his abilities. So next, bird killer again, demon killer, 50% each. Blade blitz, AOE, 140%, very good for clearing trash. He gets another buff for attack and defense plus 10%. He gets heavy breaker, 30% attack when, equ when equipped with an ax. Uh, same thing when equipped it with a hammer, and uh, same thing when equipped it with a lance, and the same thing when equipped it with a knuckle. So knuckles, hammers, lance, axes give him a 30% attack boost. Again, I'm going to go right ahead and assume putting on two of them with dual wield, he gets double the buff, so 60%, right? That's amazing. He gets uh, another move, which is a very good move for a character like this because 
you know what having hit points and mp back in your in your in your usage is very good so he drains hit points and mp with this 20 percent life 10 percent uh mp which is good uh he also gets another buff for hit points he gets beast killer 50 percent drain blade again which now gives him back life but he hits for 140 percent which is not bad but it is a hybrid attack so uh, uh so it's okay right for what he is it's really good uh then he gets sword master so for for the next so for these weapons he gets 20 percent attack and defense for equipping daggers or equipping a sword or equipping a great sword or equipping a katana because i see an and sign there we're going to assume the same thing as before equipping two of these weapons a dual wield will give him a percentage boost of 20 percent times two then he gets fin barrier which is a really good move i think and this is when he becomes a 6 star, 180% single target uh, hit physical attack and ignores 25% defense, which is really good considering his gear, considering what you can do with him, this is very very good. Okay, uh, He also gets Legend Killer, which is kind of similar like what we saw here with the Forest Killer, he gets an additional 75% uh, versus uh, all these things here. So I think it, it looks like if we look at Plant Killer, I'm just going to compare it here. So plant killer is right there. So he gets it against plant killer. This here is uh, bug killer, which is right there. And this here is dragon killer, which is not it. So it's right here, so bird killer. So in the forest killers, he gets uh, plant killer, bug killer, and bird killer. So he gets the 50% plus the 75%, okay? So he gets the 125% uh, damage against those three types. And then at the end, he gets, I'm assuming, the remainder of the attacks, which is the demon killer, uh, whatever. Does he have human killer? I'm not sure if he's got human killer or not. Then he gets these enhancements. So his enhancements are very interesting. He gets an additional... In his enhancements here, so I'm assuming in here, he gets the human killer. So he gets the buffs to his legend killer once, then you can do another tier of it where he bumps that up to 75%. So it looks like he added one in here and then it bumped it up another 25%. Man, that's nuts. This guy is a killer fiend, right? He gets all the killer effects that just makes him crazy, crazy good. Plus, the fin rare, which is the which is the which is technically the strongest move right now, it gets an enhancement. And the enhancement on it is insane. And it goes from it gets a 25% increase in his reduction of defense which is amazing it's better than having his percentage increase so this is really good he cuts the defense in half and then goes right through it very good very good enhancements amazing i would say very very good so if you got this unit and you have him and you want to get him to six star you can you just remember his he's got some good killer effects he was definitely going to be beneficial to your party probably right away but when he gets his enhancement and he gets these killer effect enhancements, he's going to stand out really good. He's going to fit that niche where you're going to go fight a dragon. It's not going to be a question of who you're going to bring. You're like, well, I got to go bring my Furion because you can gear him any way you want. You want him to be more defensive. You want him to be more offensive. You want him to have stronger spirit, stronger defense, stronger attack. You pick and choose. He is definitely one of the best malleable characters you can play with when it comes to gearing him for a certain role. Okay, so that is our boy Furion. That is how I would look at this. I would kind of go right top to bottom. Not very hard. Next one is Maria. Maria, Maria, I like it loud. Okay, anyways, that was stupid, Bordy. Anyways. Uh, yeah, so five star, easy materials, weak, 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 weak. Everything seems to be pretty meh. No abilities in there. Gear, typical of a caster with a bow. Uh, her... Affinity is just a white magic, so she can't use anything else. She has only three slots, which is up to par with five-star units. Her AoE heal is 800%. Yeah, so it's just a little bit less around Kiraja. She learns all these things that she's got right now. So up to here, so all of this. So let's go. Cure, Blind, Vox, Poisana, Dispel, Cura, eh, Regen. When she becomes a five-star, she learns Dispelga. AoE, Stat, Buff, Removal. Not bad. She also learns Kuraga at uh, four star near her max level, which is pretty good. She learns Kuraja, so now you have everybody has a decent chance to get a healer. She learns Kuraja and she learns Raise. So Maria now is a is a viable healer for a lot of new players. Most of you have had a chance to grab her. You get a chance to pick her up. She's becoming a viable healer. 
If you don't have Refia, if you don't have Luca, like I understand, those guys are probably the better healers of the bunch. However, without a healer, a party is not very functional. So having some sort of healer that can cure a single target for a lot with a 3.5 multiplier, or healing everyone with the same multiplier as a single target but with a bigger start is also really good. So you can keep your whole party up and you have a 30% raise. So when you raise somebody, they come back 30% life. The only thing she's missing is dual cast, right? But then again, so is Refia, so is Luca. So if you had uh, a TM to farm and you had Ludmill or Ludmill, you farmed out Ludmill's TM, then hey, you know what? You would have dual cast and Maria would actually be pretty suitable healer. The only thing is she's a little bit squished based on her stats, but you know, that's what gear is there for, all right? So she also picks up some, uh, picks up a few abilities. So she's got a boost of MP and spirit, so 20% and 10%. She also learns Mystery Waltz, which is a hit point drain. And then she learns uh, at five star, she will learn an AOE uh, buff, which is called a Thoughtfulness. And she gives a buff of 40% to everyone. So she, she'll buff your party defensively, right? Which is what a support unit does. So she doesn't have cheer or anything. You still have to bring a support unit for that. So overall, Maria, again, we're not comparing her to healers. We're not going to compare her to like uh, banner units. We're going to compare her to the fact that she is a 3-star. She's a 3-star with the capabilities of healing, good heals, capability of raising your party, and a little bit of, of a buff, right? It's not a cheer, it's not a focus, but it is a buff, so she can keep your party alive, which is exactly what you, you as a new player might need. You might need somebody just to keep you alive. Well, you know what? Defense is going to be keep you alive. A healer will keep you alive. Chance to raise a dead party member? Fantastic. Plus, rays can also be used against undead monsters, reapers, to kill them, to one-shot them, right? So you can do that too. So this, I think, is a very, very good thing for new players, um, especially if you don't have a healer. This is going to be amazing for you, okay? So that is my review of the two units that are getting their awakening this Thursday. <laughs> Hopefully, we'll have any, uh, maybe some, some other news coming out, letting us know what's going to be happening over the next, uh, what's the next event. But uh, that's kind of that. Um, I'm still kind of in the process of farming the remainder of my uh, candies to pick up the rest of my little things. So the next day or two, I'm going to be just kind of farming those materials to finish up. Uh, if you haven't seen my video already, please go take a look at that where I spend all the candies I earned. I think I had around like 200,000. I spent it all. Like I said, I would. I would hold on to it and then spend it on video. So stick around for that. Or if you have already not seen it go take a look at it if you did cool all right if you like the video please like and subscribe uh let me know how you feel about furion and maria do you like them are you excited about them because i'm excited about furion i do have him and i think i have him leveled up uh so i can't wait to play with him uh let me see is he here is he here oh hello moogle moogle furion 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 Furion? Where are you? There he is. So my Furion is 5 star, level 35. So I'm getting him ready for it. So he's also 35% in. He looks pretty good. He's a pretty cool cool looking character model. I like it. Not bad. Plant killer, bird killer, blade bash. So he looks pretty cool. Um, yeah, so that's my Furion. Do I have Maria? Do I have Maria? Do I have Maria? I probably walked by her, but you know how it is when you're recording, you couldn't find anything if it hit you in the face. We're gonna try it one more time, just to the top. That's Garnet. That's not the one I want. Is she at the top? Please don't tell me she's at the top. Why? Why would she be at the top? Why would you put her at the top? What is she like? The best healer in the game? All right. Well, she's not here. She ran away. Yeah, she ran away. She's not there. Anyway, so uh, thank you so much for sticking around. Hopefully you enjoyed the excitement, the review, the preview of the characters we're going to be getting on Thursday. And uh, yeah, if you like the channel, please stay uh, around. Stick around, man. Stay. Woo. Okay. Uh, anyways, before I butcher the rest of this video, thank you so much for being here. I will see you in the next video. This is Vordy, and I'm out of here. Peace.